Hello everybody, MD Polo here. Thank you for joining me. On the table today we have another pistol from an era gone by, and this is a Smith & Wesson Model 19-2, and was made in 1962. So for a pistol that is 58 years old this year, it is in remarkably good shape, and we'll walk around it in a second. This is a revolver that was produced by Smith & Wesson in, in 1957, that's when it started production, based on their K-frame. The Model 19 is a single action, double action revolver chambered in 357 Magnum, but it can also fire 38 Special. A little bit of history behind how this got started, this pistol came to be, as I read it to you, so please, uh, if you can just bear with me through that. It was by retired assistant chief patrol inspector of the U.S. Border Patrol. His name was uh, Bill Jordan. And he consulted with Smith & Wesson on the design and characteristics of what he considered to be an ideal weapon for a peace officer, or as he described it, a peace officer's dream. So after a lot of work in developing the sidearm with Smith & Wesson, based, as I mentioned before, on a heavy-barreled 4-inch K-frame chambered in 50, 357 Magnum with a shrouded barrel like their big end frame and adjustable sights. After a year of experimenting with this, this is the end result in what you originally named the Combat Magnum. And later it was changed, the name was changed, to the Model 19. The first serial number of these guns, of these revolvers, were K as Kilo 26, 260,000, I'm sorry, and they were presented, the very first one was presented to Mr. Jordan as a gift in, on November 15th, 1955. For 50, being this old, this pistol, this revolver is in absolutely spectacular shape, and if you see any blemishes anywhere on it, is um, just oil from my fingers and nothing on the pistol itself, on the revolver, I keep calling itself. Sorry about that. As I mentioned before, the Model 19 was produced in, first produced in 1957, and they ended the original production in, on November 1999. However, recently Smith & Wesson began production of a model, of a modern version, Model 19, and this was back in 2018 and is still in production at the time of filming this video. Now, please bear with me because if you follow my channel, you know that revolvers are not really on my wheelhouse and I am learning. So if I say anything incorrectly, please correct me in the comments section constructively so I can also learn as we go through this process. I'm walking you through this gun. So a bit of the specs, as I mentioned, is a K-frame revolver, single action, double action, and this one has the old Smith & Wesson font. Let's see if that light will let me do that. As you see it there, the old Smith & Wesson font. Back then, and this, revol this revolver was all handmade, everything was hand-fitted. Back then, of course, there were no mem parts anywhere. So the quality is just spectacular. The bluing, as I've brought through a couple other Smith & Wesson old firearms, the bluing is just absolutely spectacular. And yes, of course, the revolver has been safety checked. And you can see there's nothing in it. It fires 350, chambered in 357 Magnum. It also fires 38 Special. It has a four inch barrel the fantastic Smith & Wesson bluing. Let the light figure out what it wants to do. And this was originally, in addition to being the ultimate peace officer's gun, it was also considered one of the top target guns of its era. Now this particular revolver, this specific sample, came with what's called the 3T, T as in Tango, number 3T, and that was, it's got a target trigger, a target hammer, and target grips. So that's what they called the 3Ts. 
you can see it is X, the hammer. It's got an extra wide spur that is textured. And while we're there, you can also see that it's got some remnants of the case hardening on the hammer. And also you see some of it on the trigger itself, on the trigger shoe. The trigger shoe is extra wide with serrations, ribbing, whatever you want to call it. Fantastic, fantastic quality on this gun altogether. It's got a pin cylinder with a knob sticking out of both sides. Everything has been hand fitted as mentioned before. It's got a pinned and recessed frame. The back strap has got serrations as well. It's got 10 serrations and later on in newer models that was changed to six. You can see the sights. They're not fluorescent, um, they're not fiber optic, and they're not uh, anything that will glow in the dark, but they were very good target sights with this ramp sight and adjustable rears with serrations in the back. And it gives you a bit of a U. Let's see if it'll focus there. Yeah. The grips are periods correct target grips. Let's see if the light will let me do this with a Swift Smith & Wesson logo right there. So you got the, to release the cylinder. Let you take a look at the inside. Very nice, the crane. So overall it's in fantastic shape. You see the line, and forgive me if I don't know what it's called, but it's got very little wear right here. So there it is. More than anything, I wanted to show you how what a beautiful, beautiful revolver this, this is, the condition. The trigger pull is just absolutely incredible. Let's see which side is going to like better the light. When you pull it, it's just smooth, smooth, smooth. <laughs> it's just incredible trigger. A little bit of a long reach for me, especially around the tripod. But here it goes, just absolutely incredible, smooth. Let's see if I can see and show it a little clearer. So I wanted to give you a quick look at this Smith & Wesson Modern Model 19, 58 years old, spectacular revolver. And what I'd like to know is, what do you know about this that I don't know, which I'm sure it's a lot, but what do you know about its history, about the revolver itself, its technical merits that maybe there were breakthroughs for the time that I, I'm not aware of? But this, this is absolutely fantastic. So I'm starting to ramble. Thank you very, very much for joining me. As always, I upload videos every Friday afternoon. Sometimes I'll throw in a Wednesday video kind of a what do you think about this type of video. I'm becoming very active on my Instagram, so please check it out there. And we're rapidly approaching my 3,000 mark subscribers, so thank you very much for that. And I'm figuring out, learning what kind of a giveaway, what we're gonna do, something as a prize, as a thank you when we reach the 3,000 mark, so stay tuned for that. So until then, thank you very much for stopping by, thank you for your time, and until the next time, God bless.